This is the house of prep, but unfortunately I have had a prepping fail and I'm not happy about it, but you know what? If it's something I can learn from, then we're going to all learn from it and I'm going to discuss it. So first of all, I'm going to put you my little goodies here I've been making. So, <laughs> um, man, I tell you what, there's actually two prepping fails. All right, I, I admit, uh, you know, my name's Jerry, if you haven't met me yet, but I'm admitting I had two prepping fails here back to back. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not proud of it, but it's something that we're going to address, we're going to talk about, and again, it's something we grow. We learn, we grow from it. And um, I, like I said, I had to do some store running and chasing, but I was able to come up with some things. So... As we're talking here, I'm going to set up some of these ingredients. We're going to talk about some of this yummy fudge here in just a few minutes. But my first fail, well, for, you know what? Let's talk about, let's bring up something that positive that happened first. Okay, let's, let's focus on something positive first. And I'd like to see that my wife was making, you know, preparing to make some more Christmas goodies. And she said, hey, I'm going to need to use uh, probably the rest of that peanut butter that's in that jar and the the cabinet in there and I said you know what no need to fear because I have got peanut butter prepped up I've got plenty of peanut butter take whatever you need take all the peanut butter you can get I've got tons of it and so you know what it worked out I was a hero so I had plenty of peanut butter so then she was talking about a nice big dinner for this uh, weekend for dinner and make, she's going to make homemade lasagna, and she makes the best lasagna. She also makes very, very, very good Alfredo with like a chicken Alfredo or a shrimp Alfredo. And she was talking about making the sauce. Well, I did not have, usually we get the McCormick's Alfredo uh, sauce for her recipe, and I didn't have it. And it was a breakdown, okay? It was a fail. I did not have anything prepped up none of it not no backups not even one to even make a recipe so so I began and she began looking at stores and unfortunately because you run into the situation the one thing you end up needing that's the thing you cannot find and people don't have they are out of them just looking for any type of Alfredo mix so long story short is I go back one more time check Walmart before we have to go on line and pay three or four times the amount maybe getting it in time through amazon or somewhere but i went to walmart and talked to a gentleman with one of those handheld electronic devices and he was looking and sure enough they were out of this all the other kinds he tracked this down for me and i have never used this before it's pretty cool it as a whole it's an open flap and I mean, you can see the the seasoning through the window here that's a pretty cool packet I mean, usually there's just these little McCormick packs or something you rip open um, unique right um, oh there's a Best Buy on there too so that's a couple years running that's good hey prepared in Canada for our Canadian friends look at that prepared in Canada gourmet uh, gourmet village so I didn't even notice that before pretty cool so I didn't get just one at that point. I went ahead and got two, and that's really about all they had. <laughs> so you talk about you know wiping the, the sweat off your brow. This is exactly what she needed. She needed both of these for making her recipe. And man, I'm telling you what, I lucked out. And let me just say that's an example of what happens when you don't carry A, at least the original item, but be backups. It, this is what this is what will end up happening. You will have a, a, something come up. There'll be a shortage. You all of a sudden there's a run on something, and you won't get what you want, or you're stuck not getting the kind that you want, and you're you're having to call an audible and do something completely different. So I became very fortunate this time. And again, this was a small little illustration, but what can be used as a learning tool in case there's ever a large illustration that I don't want to be running out of things um, so let that be a lesson okay that's the first fail okay so let's go ahead I'm I'm taking my medicine today 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm not even going to break these up into different videos. Let's just go ahead and let's just jump right into the second fail. If you've seen my pantry and I have some older videos uh, where I show you pictures of my pantry, videos of my pantry, I have a really cool uh, spice rack hanging in there and it's stocked with all kinds of different spices and all kinds of things that you use for baking and cooking and such. Well, this is a big old bottle of some vanilla flavored, uh, you know, imitation vanilla extract. So I was making what you see behind us here, that fudge, and I went in getting all the ingredients laid out on the table, went to grab this bottle, and you can see by the coloring of it, you know, it looks like it's got plenty in here, but I grabbed it and it's like light as a feather, and you can see there's just a li little dab, just a little pool of it right there. You can see it in the video, just floating around, just not it really enough to do what I needed to do. So my wife was the hero. She ran out and she grabbed a brand new bottle for me on the pit. She ran to the dollar store and, and got me some for my fudge making here. And so that was a fail. Had no idea. I did not have a backup. It had, didn't check it, didn't even think. And I noticed on the, like, the last couple videos, people are really talking about how they like, they like to use the lists. They keep an inventory and then they, they have lists, so check off lists and things that they use. And they go shopping to kind of keep track of their prepping and their prepper pantry. So which is a great idea. You know, I love it. Great, absolute great idea. And I may have to one day start going to that thing because it looks like I'm struggling. <laughs> Where I do good in some areas, I failed in those two little areas. So, But you know what? It didn't, didn't matter. We still saved the day. And you can see I had that plate of fudge right there. I've already tried it. It's nice and chocolatey. Um, real quick, about the fudge. It's real simple. I don't know if y'all like making fudge or not. Uh, you, you measure out your sugar. You got your semi-sweet chocolate chips. And this particular recipe called for uh, marshmallows and some walnuts. And then this is some of that... Uh, that milk in a can, uh, condensed milk. So that I don't I think that was, I don't think that one was sweetened. So anyway, real super simple. They had the eight by eight pan. They had it. You line it. Put some uh, butter for I guess to keep it. Make sure the fudge doesn't stick to anything. And put the ingredients in. You know, on the stove uh, between the milk and the butter. Oh, I used uh, salt. Uh, no salt butter and I put that in the pot melted that down and I have enough ingredients to make another batch so if everyone likes this it turns out it's a winner I can make another batch very everything's already measured out ready to go <clears throat> excuse me this batch was I found online obviously you can google fudge and you can find you know miles and miles of recipes this one was from Betty Crocker simple fudge and it was simple it was super easy very easy to prep very easy to prepare. It didn't take me very long just to, to melt it and get everything mixed together. Then you stick it in the refrigerator and the longest parts leave it in the refrigerator for two to three hours. So again, that's my stories. That shows you that no matter who you are, sometimes if you're not careful, you end up getting caught. And right now things are getting crazy at the stores and getting bought up, not just because of food shortages and such, even though that has come to play with certain items, but because of the Christmas season, Lots of people are out buying baking goods and things to make in big dinners and families are all getting together and things. So get out there, get what you need. Don't I know it's, it might already be too late for some things, but go ahead and start getting what you need because Christmas is right here, folks, next week. So go ahead and get your stuff this weekend. Stock it up. Don't be like me, okay? Don't get caught. Don't be that one where you're, you're ready to fix that big dinner and, okay, I was the one responsible for that and, oh, I dropped the ball. So don't let that be you. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and hope this little video helped you out. Please hit the thumbs up button. That helps me. And also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Love to have you around. And if you've had any little experiences like this that ever happened to you, hey, feel free to add to the comments. Maybe take some of the heat off me, right? <laughs> I appreciate you guys. And you guys have a great, great rest of the weekend.